Inside this great driving diesel motorhome, you'll find four floor plans, all with beautiful decors and with all the amenities of a luxury home. Hi, it's Steve from Thor Motor Coach, and this is the 2022 Aria. Let's start with the 3401. First up, let's talk about the way the Aria looks inside. This nice light decor is called Milano, and the woodwork is Sanibel. We'll start with the seating in the living area. Over on the campsite, you have reclining theater seats, which are great for lounging around. But if you're more of a sofa person, the Aria has got you covered, as you can option one in. The kitchen is campsite as well, and you can see it has the tools and room you need to make some great meals. You have a residential fridge and a pull-out pantry. Serve it up over in the extra-wide Dream Dinette. We're talking 92 inches. And that's an important number to know when you make this into a bed as even your taller guests can sleep here. So we're midship now and making a stop in the bathroom. You have a lot of counter space in here, a medicine cabinet, a shower with glass door and skylight. It's all the features you need in the bathroom. As we head into the bedroom, you can see from here, this is roomy and well equipped. You have a large closet, even a stackable washer and dryer. You'll spend your nights on this king-size tilt-of-view bed. And the larger dresser tops in here are going to help keep you organized. And look at this, there's even a TV back here if you want to watch your favorite shows before bed. One more look from back to front in the 3401. Now we're heading into the 3701. The decor you see here is also part of the studio collection. This is the Como decor and regatta woodwork. Now the kitchen in here really stands out as it offers up so much room. You'll be able to fit all your appliances here and that's before you pull out the extension. Over on the campsite, you have your dream dinette. There is a large window giving you some great views of that perfect campsite you were lucky to find. After dinner, how about heading to the sofa to relax in front of the electric fireplace with remote? Or maybe you wanna catch the game or even a movie on TV. You can option in triple theater seats here if you would like. The 3701 offers you a split bath. So on the campsite of your shower, you have the glass door, the skylight, then right across, everything else. From your sink, medicine cabinet, and a very large closet for towels and all the extras. Or you can step back into the bedroom and grab your clothes from the large closet. Like every Aria, the 3701 is prepped with a king-size tilt-of-view bed. You have charging ports in the nightstands. You have a washer and dryer. You have a TV. So let's take one more look. And here we are in the 3901, just look at it in here. This floor plan has everything from the ceiling treatment to the seating options. This is a great way to travel. You have opposing seating up front with the sofa and the theater seats. So this is set up for entertaining when people stop by to see your new Aria. Now you can also kick back in those theater seats and put up the TV. So we could talk all day about how useful these dream dinettes are for eating, entertaining, even sleeping but we haven't shown you this yet. Check it out, you have storage underneath the seats. So let's spin around and check out the kitchen in here. This is spacious. You can put the coffee maker here and you still have plenty of counter space for everything else you need. Need more? Check out this pullout extension. The 3901 is gonna be your bath and a half floor plan and this is perfect when you have company. Take a look around, it's a great guest bathroom. Our last stop is the bedroom, and you are treated to a king-size tilt-of-view bed. You have large closets back here. You have a washer and dryer. Now step back into the bathroom. Look at the setup. Two sinks. You have a large shower with glass door, a seat, and a skylight. One thing we always mention is how roomy the showers are. Well, as a point of reference, let me show you how spacious they are. I'm on the seat, and I have plenty of room to move around in here. The 3901 also has a macerator toilet and you will appreciate all the cabinets, drawers, and storage. So here's another look at the 3901. And let me welcome you to the Aria 4000. In here you'll find bunks, two full baths. So first, let's tour the living room. Take a wide look at this layout. And let's turn our attention to this very large dream dinette. This is gonna be on the campsite and it is all set up for you to come in and have a snack and drink. This is what I call camping. On the other side, you have the sofa 
And like all the other sofas, you know it's gonna make a great place to sit, but it can easily make into a nice size bed. A look around the kitchen, and once again, you have a lot of counter space in here, but check it out. You have a shelf back here and even a pull-out extension. Every Aria kitchen comes standard with a dual burner electric induction cooktop, convection microwave, and residential fridge. Also in all Aria floor plans, the countertops in the kitchen and in the bathroom are all solid surface. So here's your first full bath. Look what you have in here exactly what you need in a bathroom. All the counter space to get ready, a sink to wash up in, and your shower with glass door and porcelain foot flush toilet. So this bath is gonna be perfect for whomever is calling the bunks home for the trip. And this is a very cool setup. Each bunk has its own tablet holder, and when you throw in some snacks, this is a little escape for the lucky travelers in here. The Aria also comes standard with a drop-down overhead bunk, so everyone is going to find a spot to make their own. So the bedroom and the bathroom in the 4000 are going to finish off our tour, and both are going to make you feel right at home. The bedroom has your king-size tilt-of-view bed for some quality sleep, and look at the size of the closets in here. This pull-out drawer is perfect to keep you organized. Then step up into the bathroom. This is a fantastic space. You have two sinks, a pop-up outlet, all kinds of storage, your shower with seat and glass door, and a macerator toilet. You're gonna get your Aria with a long list of standard features. The first one is right below my feet, these porcelain tile floors. And the amount of storage you have in every floor plan means you have a place for everything you wanna bring with you. There's also great tech built in like Rapid Camp Plus. This touchscreen is app enabled, so you can check your power from the 50 amp service, the 2000 watt pure sign inverter, and even set the gen start for your 8000 watt generator. Control your lights, your slides, set the climate, check your tank levels wherever you happen to be. So staying with tech, let's say you wanna just kick back in the theater seats and share some photos of your Aria. It's real easy to do with the WineGuard Connect 2.0 4G hotspot and Wi-Fi extender. Now you can create your own safe, secure, one password hotspot using a data plan from your favorite carrier, WineGuard, and even from a nearby Wi-Fi signal. You can use that signal to stream movies from your own streaming device to the televisions. You'll also find Blu-ray players, a soundbar, and there is backing on the roof if you wanna add a satellite dish. So let's stay on the roof and point out this 100 watt solar panel. This comes standard. Also up here, your whisper quiet AC units. Now you can option in a third AC on the 3901 and the Aria 4000. So we have a few features up front to show you. First is this electric step cover. These captain's chairs swivel, and the passenger seat has a footrest. And the great thing about this seat is you can even sit here and put your feet up for those long road trips if you like. But I'll tell you what, why don't we switch places? You sit here, you relax, and I'll take us for an RV road test. Before we hit the open highway, I want to go over the features and functions of your Aria dashboard. Right back here, the controls for your one-touch leveling jacks. Remember, before you put these down, go ahead and put your suspension air into lower. That will drop your Aria closer to the ground. It will make getting in and out of your Aria easier. And then when you hit the road, go ahead and put it back in auto. A number of switches over here. You do have your auxiliary start, dash fans, your air horn, cabin lights, your service light. That is for the bay right out the window here. You do have docking lights and mirror heat for your heated remote mirrors. Now remember in each mirror you have an integrated camera and when you're turning your directional on left or right, whatever is in the field of view of that camera will show up right here on your infotainment center. You do have a 12 volt socket right here and a cup holder for your on the road beverage. Controls for your headlights are right here. You do have your air brakes right here. The pedal down here takes and controls the tilt on your steering wheel as well as the telescoping. So you can go ahead and dial that in exactly how you want. Stock over here controls your windshield wipers and your lights. This over here controls your gear and your exhaust brake. We'll talk about that once we get on the road. Gauges, pretty standard layout here and what you'd expect to see on a diesel motorhome, your tachometer, your speedometer, your coolant temp, your fuel gauge, your DEF tank, your oil pressure, and the pressure in your airbags. The controls over here on the steering wheel are for your OptiView dash. This is a great way to keep an eye on your Aria while you're on the road. It's really putting all the info and data about your motorhome right in front of you. It's easy to use. You can keep your eyes on the road 
It's customizable. It gives you all the info. We're talking tire pressure, maintenance reminders, and all you have to do is use this thumb pad to scroll down. You can get diagnostics, your vehicle configuration, your tire pressure, fuel economy. Everything is right here and you control it with this menu. The thumb controls over here, this is how you answer and hang up when you're connected to your Bluetooth. We'll talk a little bit about that. And you control your cruise control right here. Right over here, we do have controls for your HVAC. Down below, generator start, sunshade, nightshade, and a button for your map lights. Now let's talk about this infotainment center because this does have RV specific navigation. In order to get that, you press the map button and then download the Xera app on your phone. You take and you set your phone right down there. You connect it to the plug right in this port right here that says map iPod. And then from there, your navigation system will pull up on the screen and that's how you're gonna update your maps as well. As we go down the hard buttons for you, this is for your home. This mode button takes you through the mode from your iPod to your USB to your Bluetooth phone and music, power on and your volume. This button right here controls your backup camera. You can turn it on at any time. If you have something connected to that 10,000 pound hitch, you can see it right there. And this will stay on for you if you want it to during your drive. These two buttons down here are how you skip your tracks. As we go back home, this is a swipe screen. You can swipe right, you can swipe left to pull up exactly what you want. Over here, we do have our Bluetooth phone, your radio. Over here, another button for your camera. You have Sirius XM satellite radio, and you can also control your settings right from here. And down here, you do have a couple more charging ports, 12 volt charging ports, and you do have a cubby for your phone or sunglasses or change or whatever it is that you need. And you have a nice little pad right up here as well to store sunglasses or wallets or change for the tolls. And the last thing I wanna show you before we hit the road is your auto locks. Once you turn your Aria on, you can hear the doors automatically lock for you so you are safe and secure so go ahead adjust your seat let's buckle up and hit the road so your aria is going to be built on a freightliner xcr raised rail chassis it is then upfitted with what we like to say is always true level and strong the atlas foundation what the atlas foundation is going to do is give you increased storage capacity a very smooth ride and a level foundation to build the house for all those great floor plans we showed you Every Aria is powered by a Cummins ISB XT 6.7 liter engine, 360 horsepower, 800 pound feet of torque. Now that torque is sent to the wheels by a six speed Allison MH 3000 automatic transmission. And it all works so smoothly together and quietly, even when you put the hammer down. Now I wanna talk about your gear shift real quick. You do have a manual mode on this. If you press this in, you can take and shift gears yourself. All you have to do is pull the lever towards you to shift. This lever here is also your engine brake to set it. All you have to do is pull it down. And what that's gonna do then is trap compressed air inside the cylinder. So now those gases have absolutely nowhere to go. So it's gonna be forced back into the engine. That's gonna cause your Aria engine to run slower. This can also take some of the work off your regular brakes. It's gonna prevent them from overheating, especially when you're going downhill. If you wanna get into some of the meat and potatoes on why the Aria is such a smooth handling motorhome, especially for a vehicle of this size, a lot of that has to do with the I-beam front axle and the 55 degree wheel cut. It's really gonna help you out when you have to drive in through those heavy city traffic flows make those sharp corners, maybe get into a tight campground. It's gonna help you out there. Out back, you have Freightliner's V-Ride technology. The way Freightliner has this dialed in gives you a more stable ride, better roll stability. When you're taking those curves, you're gonna feel more planted and you won't feel like you're being blown back and forth all over the highway. The Aria does impress when you are on those long trips. It also impresses when you are outside. Wait until we show you the storage on this. We're gonna get off our exit, pull into camp, and walk around the outside of the Aria. You're gonna look so good pulling your Aria into that RV resort. There are new colors of full body paint. What you're seeing here, this is called Manhattan. Setup is fast and easy, and part of that has to do with the fact you can bring anything you want with you. Look at all of these large pass-through storage bays. You have a slide-out tray here, you have another bay here, you even have another bay in the back with an exterior propane connection, which we will get to in just a second. So let's get everything out of these bays. You're set up. Let's put out that one touch power awning. Remember Rapid Camp Plus? Go ahead, press that button, put out this awning. You even have an awning over the door. Grill something up and catch the highlights on the TV with soundbar. All right, I wanna show you a little more on this exterior propane connection. 
Just tie it into your favorite grill. This is perfect for enjoying a meal in the middle of your favorite place. There is no better way to explore than in the diesel motor home of your dreams. This is the 2022 Aria from Thor Motor Coach. For all the specs, features, and to find the Aria floor plan made to fit you, visit ThorMotorCoach.com.